The Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus was recently launched globally and by the looks of things, it's one of the best mid-range phones of 2024. Priced between $350 to $400, obviously depending on your region and storage variants, here are 5 reasons that could convince you to buy it. Starting with the display, it has a sizable 6.67 inch AMOLED panel, boasting a crisp 1.5K resolution and a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The display is vivid and you get quite a nice immersive experience. With a peak brightness of 1800 nits, it will do well even under direct sunlight. And when you dive into consuming content, it has Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus certification, so you get excellent colors and dynamic range when watching videos, especially on streaming apps like YouTube and Netflix. Now looking at this display, you might as well call it a flagship phone. Let's say we compare it to the flagship iPhone 15. This phone has a 120Hz refresh rate, way better than the 60Hz offered on the iPhone. It also has a higher resolution with more pixels, and while iPhones have 2000 nits peak brightness, this one has 1800 nits, which is not far off. It's even better than last year's Samsung top phone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which had a peak brightness of 1750 nits. And don't forget that the phone also has a curved display, which for years now has been synonymous with much more expensive flagships. Moving under the hood, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus is powered by the formidable MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra chipset. From demanding gaming sessions to multitasking with ease, this chipset handles all that effortlessly. You'll be able to play most games at high graphics and high frame rates. Sure, it's not the best mobile processor in the world, it's not even close, but when you look at the best in the world, like the Bionic S17 Pro, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or the Dimensity 9300, they're usually overpowered, so not having them doesn't mean that your phone will be way worse when it comes to serving you. A processor may be just 80% as good as them and it will serve you perfectly well and that's how this chipset is. It also has between 8GB to 12GB of RAM which is expandable and 256GB to 512GB of storage which is more than enough for most people. The performance of this phone is really great and should convince you to buy it. Now let's focus our lens on the camera setup of the phone. It houses 4 lenses including a 200MP main sensor, an 8MP ultrawide lens, a 2MP macro lens and a 16MP selfie camera. First of all, the 2MP macro lens is basically useless, no one really uses it, and Xiaomi just put it there as a gimmick. The 8MP ultrawide and 16MP selfie cameras do a good job, they take good photos but they are old, especially the 8MP ultrawide lens. I feel like it has been in Redmi phones for ages now. Either way, they take decent enough photos. One downside of the 16 megapixel selfie camera is that it can't record 4K video and is still limited to 1080p. The 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP3 sensor takes good quality photos, and since it's 200 megapixels, you can zoom into a photo and the details will still be there and it will still be clear. And it also has optical image stabilization for steady shots. Again, obviously, it's not as good as the 200 megapixel Samsung flagships, and it's also not as good as the iPhones, Pixel phones, and even Xiaomi flagships. But for the average person, they like the photos. The main lens can also record 4K video at up to 30 FPS. Another reason to buy the phone is its super fast charging speeds of 120 watts. Xiaomi claims that it takes 19 minutes to fully charge, but let's assume that they exaggerated the number and give it between 20 to 25 minutes. It's still extremely fast. To put this into perspective, let's compare it to the creme de la creme of flagships. It's almost 3 times faster than the new Galaxy S24 Ultra and almost 4 or 5 times faster than the Pixel 8 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Also, when unboxing this phone, you actually get the whole 120W charger in the box. The 3 premium flagship phones I just mentioned offer nothing in the package except the phone and a cable, forcing you to spend even more on the charger. Shame on them. Now despite its mid-range price tag, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus doesn't skimp on premium features. Check for instance its Gorilla Glass Victus protection and IP68 dust and water resistance, things only found in higher-end phones. It also supports eSIM, again, a feature that was only reserved for premium phones on certain regions of the world. On top of the phone, you get an IR blaster, allowing you to control your home appliances with the phone. When you factor in the 200 megapixel main camera, 120W super fast charging and mesmerizing display, you get a premium phone. In essence, what I'm saying is that this phone gives you a premium feel for a lower price than usual, and that should be a reason to buy it. One issue with this phone is that it comes with Android 13, while you're already at Android 14. 
and so if they offer 3 years of updates, it will end up with Android 16 instead of 17 as its final version. And if they offer 2 years of software updates, the situation becomes even worse. Anyways, let's assume that you don't care about the extra features like the S Pen or you don't need to shoot cinematic videos with your phone camera. Would you spend over $1000 for the premium flagships or would you rather spend a third of the price for almost the whole experience with this phone? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzitech. Subscribe.